KQ94.5. Hey, it's Ginger G, and time once again for my Pet of the Week segment on KQ. And today I have my friend Jody here with me. She is a volunteer slash foster slash everything with Kitty City. And she has Scratch here with us. And uh, I'm going to let you explain Scratch's story because it's such a cool story. It is. It is very nice. Um, she was found at a house where somebody had moved out and put their animals outside. And we were unaware that Scratch was actually there. And so when Allison and Steve were out there trying to trap the other cats that they knew about, they were in a Quonset bar slash barn and um, Scratch they had the door closed, they were trying to close it off to catch some other cats, and Scratch actually started scratching on the door, thus her name Scratch. And Allison opened the door and Scratch just laid there, like, don't leave without me. And truly, I mean, it was heartbreaking. And uh, Allison had noticed that she was nursing and that there was babies somewhere. Eventually, this mom directed Allison and Steve to her little babies, five of them, which were born in a window well because they were born after she was put outside and there was broken glass and oh just my all gosh. kinds of scary, icky stuff where these poor little babies were born. And so she got rescued as well, as well as her babies and really a heartwarming story. And as you can see, she's just a sweetheart. Yeah. She just got fixed yesterday, and so she will be at Petco by this weekend for adoption, and she is just a sweetheart, as oh. you can see. You're in the market for a, a beautiful, wonderful cat. She would be yours. She's got these beautiful white paws. I'll get a picture up closer in just a minute. Uh, but as you see, she is a cuddler. You know, you guys have other cats that are up for adoption as well besides Scratch. We do, absolutely. Right now we have, we have Scratch that will be there this weekend. Um, we currently have a mom that just had her babies last night, uh -huh. and uh, we have another mom that has seven other babies that will be ready in about four weeks possibly, and then that mom will be up for adoption, and there are others as well that once they get healed up and, and, and all ready, then they will be up there as well. So it's been busy. There's been a constant uh, cat. Yeah cat adoption up at Petco. Their, their kennels have been full. <laughs> so uh, you can go to uh, Kitty City's Facebook page. That's a great place to go. You get to see videos, night cams of some of the cats and the different activities they're doing. You can find them online as well. There's a link on the Facebook page. You can make donations online. They are needed all the time. Our next event will be, we will have a Petco adoption weekend. The the first weekend in September, I think it's the 7th, 8th, and 9th, right after the Labor Day on the 2nd. So okay. It's 7th, 8th, and 9th. We have that. And then in October, we will have our Nick or Treat. We're going to oh, do yeah. a Nick or Treat, which will be um, some fun events, kind of similar to the floats, floats with goats. With the goats. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm going to get the camera so we can show up close. How she's beautiful and sweet she is. Snuggling right in here. That is Scratch. Look at that sweet girl. I know she doesn't like the camera on her face, I'm sure, but look at what a sweet girl she is. And if you are interested in giving her a forever home, please contact Kitty Seek.